Check out FlipSideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Use the promo code HEROES to save 10% on all orders over $10. From July 4th through August 26th, if you use this promo code, you will automatically be entered into a drawing to win a set of all four Commander 2019 decks. Also, there is another way to enter where no purchase is necessary. See the description below for full details. Hey there, this is John from Heroes and the Legends. Today we are opening a Booster Box of Core Set 2020. This is the first Booster Box of this set we've opened on the channel. I don't know when I'm going to post this, so I'm going to try not to talk too much about current events because it might be a week or two by the time you see this on the channel. Just simply because so much is going on right now. I know next week Commander 2019 previews will begin, so I assume we'll be covering those very soon. Um, by the time you see this video, it's probably after those have actually all dropped or mostly dropped. So we won't get too much into like what these cards are worth today because they'll probably be different by the time you see this. But let's get right into the box and just see if we can open some cool stuff. Um, here is pack number one. And I don't know, I'll just thumb through the comments for the first couple packs and then we'll just skip to at least the uncommons. Blood for Bones, a good card actually. Corpse Knight, it's a 2-2 two, two Corpse Knight, not a 2-3. <laughs> Ember Holler, and we get Flood of Tears as our first rare. That's not bad. Oh, and there you go. You can also get an emblem. So Flood of Tears has seen a little play. I'm happy to get a copy of that card I might want to try out. So this weekend is actually Mythic Tournament number four weekend. So that kind of lets you know how late this video is going to go out. Um, here's our pack, second pack, uh, Meteor Golem. Scuttlemutt, Vengeful Warchief, our rare. All right, this is a long name. Bear with me. Dracuseth Maw of Flames. It's a dragon. This is actually a pretty sweet card to reanimate. So if you're trying to play standard reanimator, for example, perfect target. Dismal Backwater Foil in this pack. Okay, on to the third pack. So this set has had a big influence so far on the standard environment. A little bit of play in other places too, but I mean, really, it's kind of, I don't want to say super surprising, but a lot of times the core set being like the last set before rotation occurs doesn't offer all that much because there's so many cards in the format, but this set is different. Ogre Siegebreaker, Cerulean Drake, Manifold Key, that's a cool card. Leyline of Sanctity, nice reprint there, so that's fantastic. I'll take that. All right, keep going. I'll speed it up a little bit as we get into it just so that you get to uh, get on with your day a little bit here. Howling Giants is our first uncommon. Fry, great sideboard card. Urox, Fenlurker, and we get a Field of the Dead. This card's awesome. I've been playing a ton of this on Magic Arena. It, it's, it's just a fantastic, like, Gate Shift or the Bant, the Bant Simic um, version of the deck. Also really sweet, so yeah, happy to get that. Cerulean Drake Foil. Okay. As far as like mythics and stuff, I mean, I don't know, this, this set doesn't have like the big chase mythic, I suppose. Chandra is the closest thing, the mythic one. Um, I mean, any of the mythics are pretty sweet, I think. Disfigure, Risen Reef, Mask of Immolation, and okay, there's one. Mu Yang Ling, Sky Dancer. So, uh, this card actually, I, it hasn't seen a ton of standard play. I've seen people kind of trying it out in different places. Maybe it can figure something out at some point, but. It's a sweet card. There you go. All right, we'll keep going here. Um, Yarok the Desecrated, that'd be one I'd like to get because I'd like to play with that in Commander, maybe. All right, Unchained Berserker, Herald of the Sun, Gauntlets of Light, Leyline of Combustion, so our second Leyline. The Leylines are super sweet. I'll be happy to grab those whenever I can, so happy to see those as rares. Oh, hang on a second, my computer is doing something funny. Seems to happen every time I try to do a pack opening now. I need a new computer. <laughs> That's why I actually had to stop um, doing any sort of transitions in my video, because the computer just lags. It doesn't actually pick them up right anymore. That's probably a problem if I have a YouTube channel. All right, Air Elemental, <laughs> Wolf Rider Saddle, Bark Hide Troll, and Embodiment of Agonies is the rare. 
So yeah, I'd like to get a Yarok. Um, I don't know, what else? Any of the Planeswalkers are always cool. I, I think all the Mythics are actually pretty cool. Couple of the couple of the Cavaliers are like okay, but I wouldn't be sad to get those. Lightning Stormkin, Ether Ghost, Mask of Immolation, and we get Gargos Vicious Watcher. That's actually a sweet card if you want to try to build like a Commander um, Hydra deck. So yeah, I'm down for that. All right, we'll keep going. So I'd like to hit a big foil in this box. That'd be sweet. Our um, bundle pack had a foil of Johnny. That was awesome. Warden of Evo Sile, Cryptic Caves, Salvager of Ruin, and Masterful Replication. Okay. Evolving Wilds is our land there. Let me know in the comments below how your pack openings have gone for this set. If you got any crazy pulls recently. Always like to hear about that. Okay, we have Fencing Ace, Gruesome Scrounger, Tomebound Lich. I like this card. And Agent of Treachery. This has seen a little play. Like, I come across decks running this sometimes on um, Arena. And, yeah, I mean, I haven't had too much of an issue with them playing Gate Shift, but they seem fun. Like, it's a fun brew. I'll just go faster now. Let's kind of skip the commons. Okay. Gruesome scr uh, Scrounger. Is it Scrounger? Scourger. Gruesome Scourger. Lightning Stormkin. Spectral Sailor. Great card. And we have Scheming Symmetry. Nice rare there, too. Okay. Yeah, the Sailor is a tough card in Standard because your opponent can put it out in those flash decks. And if you don't do something about that one drop, you're in trouble. I mean, you can't sit back because they're going to draw cards off of it. And it's going to get out of hand. Angel of Vitality. Salvager of Ruin. Noxious Grasp. This is showing up in a lot of sideboards, even outside of Standard. Legion's End is our rare. Befuddle is our foil. So they have increased the foil count in these packs, which you may have noticed when you've been opening them. Some more foils. I mean, some people like foils, some people don't. So I guess if you don't like foils, you're probably not happy about that. But Loyal, Pegasus, Moldervine Reclamation, Scampering Scorcher, Tail's End is your rare. Soul Mender is your foil. So personally, yeah, I was never a fan of foils. Like, even when they started back in the old days, I was kind of like, eh, okay. It's shiny. Um, like, if I can play with the card, I know that was a problem. Some foils get warped and you couldn't play with them. And that is an issue. But if you can play with the card, I don't really care either way. Rapacious Dragon. <laughs> uh, Overcome. Devout Decree. Seen a little play. Bishop of Wings. All right. Hit kind of a little bit of a drought now. We've only seen, what, one Mythic so far? Just Mew Yang Ling. Okay, we have a Loaming Shaman, Diviner's Lockbox, Vengeful War Chief, a rare Chandra's Regulator. All right, all right. Something big's coming. I can feel it. I can feel the big pull coming. The big foil pull. Foil Chandra in this pack or the next one. Um, Captivating Gyre, Herald of the Sun, another Spectral Sailor, and Voracious Hydra to go along with our other Hydra. Thought Distortion's a foil. Trying to keep these cards together because I do play draft and sealed with them. Okay, Cryptic Caves, Veil of Summer. This is an awesome card. Another huge, huge sideboard card right now. Your oh, I saw it. I got the card I wanted. Yurok Sven Lurker, and yes, we did get Yurok the Desecrated. This is the one card I really wanted because I do think I would play with this. So, okay, I'll take it. Foil would have been better. Now I'm just kidding. I'm happy to get that. Maniacal, Maniacal Rage is our um, foil. All right, so two good mythics so far. No Chandra. Well, actually, we haven't seen any Chandras, not even the uncommon one. And we didn't get any in, in our bundle pack either that we opened, so I don't know where Chandra's hiding. God's willing. They say this is a Chandra set. Rule, <laughs> Rule of Law, Sky Knight, Vanguard, and Wakeroot Elemental. So, I guess the question is, are there going to be any Chandras on, in your Chandra set? We'll see. Still got like half a box to go or so. All right. Fry's back again. We got Woodland Champion. Hardcover. Hanged Executioner. Oh, we got a Foil Rare, and it's a good one, actually. This is a cool Commander card. Um, oh, actually, this wasn't the card I was thinking it was, <laughs> but this is a cool card, too. 
Uh, Safara Sky's Blade. I don't even remember what this does. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, that's kind of sweet. All right. Well, it's not the foil mythic I wanted, but <laughs> that's just fine. Okay, Warden of Evo Sile, Howling Giant, Diviner's Lockbox. Our rare is a steal over Seer. Nice reprint there. So we got that. How many ley lines have we gotten so far? Two, right at the beginning. We got Sanctity and Combustion. Green one's pretty sweet, actually. So, haven't hit any temples yet, either. Scholar of the Ages, Flame Sweep, Might of the Masses, Marauding Raptor. That's a sweet card for the um, dinosaur build. Jun Dinosaurs. By the time you see this, maybe that won't be a deck anymore. I don't know. <laughs> be like, what are you talking about, Jun Dinosaurs? But right now it's a thing. Okay, Blake Beetle. Iron, Iron Root Warlord. Chandra Spitfire. This card can be crazy, too. Oh, there's a Chandra. Chandra Arc Acolyte of Flame. So we got the rare one. You would assume we'd get the uncommon one in this box, right? You would assume. So, maybe we won't get the mythic one. But there is Chandra's in your Chandra set, so there you go. Okay. Whoop. Well, I'm, I'm going crazy here. Okay. We got Iron Roots Warlord again. Dragon Mage. Used to be a rare. Uh, Aether Gust. <laughs> oh, we got another mythic. Cavalier of Thorns. So that's our third mythic, right? That's actually a pretty good one. Like, that is definitely one of the more usable ones. And we get a Foil Mountain, too. Okay. So that is three mythics. Right? Yes. We got one from each of the categories. Yeah. So... And I still have quite a few packs left, so maybe we'll get lucky and get a fourth one. Fencing Ace, Blight Beetle, Tombbound Lich, or Tombbound Lich. I always want to call that Tomb, I guess because it's black and blue. And a Rotting Registrar, that's sweet too. Another card that sees play in that Jun Dinosaur's deck. All right, we are starting to get down there, though. We've been moving pretty quick in this video. Oh, okay, as I drop all the cards. <laughs> Rapacious Dragon, Overcome, Rule of Law, Knight of the Ebon Legion, another good rare. Just so many playable cards in the set. I mean, that's the thing. Like, even if you don't get, like, all these crazy pulls, I've been pretty happy with this box. Like, it's hard to feel like you got a bad box because so many of the cards are just playable. Thra Thrashing brought it down, a reprint from Standard, but still very playable. Scuttermutt, Yerox, Wave Crasher. There's a Temple, Temple of Triumph. All right. Temples are cool. I don't know. They're good in mid-range decks or like combo decks. I don't know how great they are They are in the current environment, at least as of the recording of this, just because you have the shock lands and stuff right now. Post-rotation event, not this rotation, but like the next rotation for that short period of time, they might be very good. Uh, Meteor Golem, Diamond Knight, Noxious Grasp, Temple of, Epi Temple of Epiphany. That's not easy to say. All right, Temple of Epiphany. How many we got here? We're getting low on packs. Three, six, nine, I think. Yep, nine, last nine packs. All right. Let's move that out of the way and we'll uh, we'll do it. So, probably won't hit another foil, rare, or mythic. I, I would be very surprised if we did. I mean, stranger things have happened, I guess, but um, probably not. But another, like, mythic would be awesome. Pattern Matcher, Scholar of the Ages, Cerulean Drake, Elvish Reclaimers are rare. Frilled Sea Serpent is our mythic rare. Or, I'm sorry, is our foil. That would be a pretty bad mythic rare, wouldn't it? Okay. Pulsa Marasa. Good limited card. Season of Growth. Apostle of Purifying Light. And our rare is Temple of Mystery. So that's our third temple. All of a sudden, they just showed up. So three of those. Two ley lines. But three temples now. No uncommon Chandra yet. What's the deal with that? We're gonna get the oh, there she is. As I'm talking about her, okay. Paul Samarasa again. Chandra novice pyromancer. So there's the second Chandra or Chandra. So one more to go. And look at this season. Season of growth and Temple of Malady. So four out of the five temples. Weird. 
all kind of in a group over here. All right. We got Vampire of the Dire Moon. Creeping Shell Blazer. That's the first time we pulled that. Goblin Ringleader. Nice pull. And Icon of Ancestry. This is being, this is being seen in some play, actually. Um, even in Modern, I saw this in a Goblin deck. Uh, Fry, the foil one there. Nice. Nice foil in common, actually. What's that leave us with? One, two, three, four, five. Well, we're getting towards the end, so I just want to say thank you to everybody who watched the video. And watch all our videos. Always helps to either um, watch the video, like, subscribe, tell people about the channel. Always appreciated. Uh, Blood for Bones, another creeping trailblazer. Uh, Chandra Spitfire again. And Leyline of Anticipation. So there's our third. Oh, okay. Another foil rare. Sure. Uh, so Leyline of Anticipation. Uh, great card. Nice pull. And a foil temple. I'll take it. That was our last temple, right? I think we got one of each. One's foil, though. Interesting. Okay. Four packs left. Well, I guess they have up the foil ratio, so maybe I shouldn't be surprised that we got a second rare foil. All right. Portal of Sanctuary. Grave Digger. Blood Soaked Altar. And so uh, here's Safara Sky's Blade, the non foil version. Okay. Three packs left. One more big pull to kind of play us out would be awesome. All right. Can we do it? There's a shock. Um, <laughs> Thrashing Bronze Ton. Diamond Knight. Bloodthirsty Aerialist. And a Temple of Silence again. Okay, so both things we got a foil of, we got another copy of. That's six um, temples. Like one of each temple and then the extra foil. Crazy. Okay. Another Chandra shows up. Chandra Novice Pyromancer. Eternal Isolation. I think that might be a... I think I see a Planeswalker. But I do. Bloodthirsty Aerialist and Soren Imperious Bloodlord. Okay, so that's our fourth Mythic. This is a good one. In the Vampire decks right now in Standard. Again, by the time you watch this, maybe those will be gone. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, right now, awesome. Awesome pull. So I don't care what this pack is. I'm happy with this box. Two Planeswalkers, we got Yurok, we got Cavalier of Thorns, I think maybe the best cat, the best Cavalier. I really wanted to get Yurok, and some really good rares, so Eternal Isolation, uh, yeah, Isolation, Devote Decree, Sky Knight Vanguard, oh nice, Drawn from Dreams, that's a very playable card as well, and we get a Foil, Silverback, Shaman. All right, well that does it for this box opening, as always, hey, thanks for watching, please remember to like and subscribe, and have a great day! Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible through the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon and have a great day.